Look, Karen, we have the same argument every time we meet. It has to have two wheels. Don't be soft, Connor. Four wheels is what you need. Okay, then. Let's get the difference if we give it three wheels. <sighs> well, look, Connor, if it's going to have three wheels, it has to be stable. It can't be tipping over like a Reliant Robin. You don't want it to tip over, but it has to tilt like a motorbike. It has to be fun to drive. Look, if it's going to be fun to drive, it's got to be small, highly maneuverable, and very, very quick. That's never going to happen. Probably not. Hold on. Come on, come on, let's follow that thing. I don't know, I don't know. I... And there it is, come on. It's a bike on the roof. No, no, it's a three wheeled car, Connor. But it has a cockpit like a fighter plane. No, it has a steering wheel and a gear stick just like a car. And the keys are in the ignition. Hello. Hello. Can we help you? Uh, look at the machine. It's lovely. You want to take a out for a spin? Yes, please. You're witness to a motoring revolution. The Vandenbrink Carver is neither a car nor a bike. It takes its design cues from snowboarding and jet fighters rather than conventional motoring. Oh, I haven't had this much fun since, uh, what can I say? I feel like I'm in a habit. The idea of, of making a vehicle tilt and making a, a narrow, uh, a man-wide vehicle is not new. That's almost as old as, as the car itself. We had a spark, we, th we thought, well, that could work, but let's try it on a real low-budget scale and try it out if that will work. And uh, the first time we drove it, it worked. We tilted the right angle, the right way. It was incredible. It took us uh, five or six or seven years, but uh, to really uh, make this finished carver as it is now here, uh, took us about four, four and a half years. You can look at the car for now as the first of a new concept, in fact. You have had a motorbike and a car for about uh, 100 years. And now there is a technology which makes it possible that there is a new vehicle concept in between those two. And if you put 20 horsepower in a vehicle like this, you can make another version out of it. But if you put 200 horsepower in, into it, you can make a super sports car now out of it. will always be a low volume exclusive vehicle and perhaps you never know in the future in five, six or seven years something else will come up. The Carver's dynamic vehicle control system allows the two rear wheels to remain planted firmly on the road, while the front wheel, together with the chassis, automatically banks into corners, giving a maximum tilt angle of 45 degrees with 1G of lateral force. Okay guys, try not to break it. Okay. Connor? Yeah. <laughs> Off you go. All right. <laughs> Let's see if we can do it like the big boys. It's very odd because you've got the steering wheel, you've got the gear stick here on the door, like a Formula One car. So this is like a little bit of everything I've ever driven before. If you can hear a beeping sound, that's the angle we're leaning over at. Oh, 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 she broke free! <laughs> if I can open this door and hang my knee out and scrape it along the road. Yeah, and you've got the metal pins to prove it. Really, <laughs> <that's> it. <laughs> well, it's like a... tilting like a bike, but I'm used to changing gears with my feet. I love the fact that I can wash out the front end on this thing and not fall over. It's so <laughs> confidence inspiring. The only thing I'm afraid of now is getting back on the bike. <laughs> Incredible power to rate ratio. I mean, this yeah. thing has only got 65 brake horsepower, but it only weighs 620 kilograms. Yeah. So, you know, the top speed is 115 miles an hour, the 0 to 60 is a very impressive 8.2 <laughs> seconds. When you consider that that's only a little 660cc Dalhatsu engine. Right? 
You can actually buy a carver right now, though it will cost you around €50,000, excluding taxes. That's because it's hand-built. But the guys at Vandenberg reckon that if it got the same level of investment as the smart car, it could sell for less than €14,000. The queue starts behind me. And me? Carl, if only every vehicle was as fun to drive as this. Connor, I think we have found something we can both agree on. <laughs> at last!